Today I want to show you how I am automating my life by building armies of AI agents that do tasks for me. And I want to teach you how you can build your own army of AI agents too. I became a father a month ago, which means that right now I lack sleep, time and energy. Because I knew that would happen, before Baby Nomad was born, I began looking for ways to automate my life as much as possible. That is when I stumbled upon Crew AI, a framework that makes building powerful multi-agent automations incredibly simple and fun. Rather than showing you the agents that I have working for me, because they are too specific for my needs, we are going to instead build something more general than anybody can use. By the end of this video, we will have a team of agents that will analyze the stock price of a company, news about the company, its financial statements, balance sheets and insider transactions to tell us if we should buy, sell or hold a stock. And you will see how we will accomplish this by writing mostly English and almost no Python code. If you're new here, my name is Nicholas and I live in Seoul, South Korea. I love building things and teaching others how to build them too. 여러분, 안녕하십니까? 저는 니콜라스라고 합니다. 너무 반갑습니다. So what are AI agents? Traditional software is programmed to do the same action over and over again. It follows the instructions encoded by a programmer using a programming language. AI agents, on the other hand, are programs that use AI models like GPT-4 as their brain to know what action to take. We don't give instructions to the AI agent, we give tools and goals. We tell the agent what we want, and the agent will find the steps required to complete the task. It will make a plan and solve the task using the tools we give it. Tools are the most important parts of an agent. Tools are small pieces of code, tiny programs that we can give to our agents to teach them a new skill. Tools make agents more powerful than ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a chatbot. It has no access to the outside world. It can't take action for you. It can create or read files in your computer, send an emails, and so forth. ChatGPT only knows about the data it was trained with. It is a lot of data, yes, but it isn't fresh real-time data. It isn't the files in your computer, your calendar, or emails. A private API or the data in your company's database. Using tools, AI agents can take action on your behalf and they can access data ChatGPT would never be aware of. Models like GPT-4 are the brain that tells the AI agent which tool to use, how to use it, and when. The tool is chosen by GPT-4, but the tool runs in our machine. The more tools your agent has, the more powerful it is. And the good news is that creating tools for our agents takes very few lines of code. As you can imagine, implementing an AI agent by ourselves will take us a long time, which is why we use Crew AI. Crew AI is a framework that does all the heavy lifting for us. Crew AI provides us with agents that can cooperate with each other, can delegate tasks, ask questions to each other, know how to use the tools we give them, and have short and long-term memories, which means they learn and get better the more we use them. Crew AI talks to AI models, parses outputs, runs the tools, handles errors, it does it all. By the way, if you already bought the full stack GPT course, you have a free bonus Crew AI section waiting for you that I just uploaded where we go deep in all the features Crew AI has. All right, let's build our stock market AI agent army. After installing Crew AI and Crew AI tools, we will start our Crew AI project by first setting an environment variable to an open AI key. You can paste it directly in your code or you can load it from a .env file. Then it is time to create our agents. Our stock market analysis crew will have four agents, a technical analyst, a researcher, a financial analyst, and a hedge fund manager. The reason why we create multiple agents instead of one is because AI models perform better when you give them one task and purpose at a time rather than many at once. When we create agents, we have to give them three things, a role, a goal, and a backstory. The role is the function of the agent within the crew. The goal is the objective the agent needs to achieve. And the backstory is how we can make the agent role play into being the expert we need it to be. The backstory is especially important because it turns out that AI models perform better when they are role playing. In the backstory is where we can tell our agents what kind of agents they are, what they do best and how talented they are. To our researcher agent, we give it the goal of gathering and interpreting data to know the sentiment and news surrounding a stock. We give it a backstory that says it is skilled in gathering and interpreting data from various sources and that it reads news pieces carefully and extracts the most important information. To our technical analyst agent, we give it the goal of analyzing the movements of a stock to give us insights on trends, entry points, and levels. We also give it a backstory, calling it an expert in predicting stock movements and telling it that the insights it provides are very valuable for its customers. To our financial analyst agent, we tell it to evaluate a stock's financial health and performance using financial statements. And as a backstory, we call it an experienced investment advisor that makes recommendations based on the company's financial health. 
And finally, we have the hedge fund manager that manages a portfolio of stocks, wants to maximize returns and has a track record of making profitable investment decisions. Finally, we set the property verbose to true on each agent to see what they are planning, how they use tools, delegate tasks and talk to each other. Our agents now need tasks to do and the tools to complete them. We will create four tasks, research, technical analysis, financial analysis, and investment recommendation. Tasks need three things. A description of the task, the agent that will perform it, and finally, the expected output of the task. A precise description of what successful task completion looks like. The research task is to gather and analyze the latest news and market sentiment surrounding the stock. It will be performed by the researcher agent and the expected output should be a summary of the news and market sentiment surrounding the stock. As you can see, I did not name a specific company. Instead, I used a template variable so I can use this crew for any company and not only one. The technical analysis task is to look at the stock's price movements and to identify key support resistance levels and chart patterns. It will be performed by the technical analysis agent and the expected output should be a report with potential entry points and price targets. The financial analysis task is to look at a company's financial statements and insider trading data. It will be performed by the financial analyst agent and the expected output should be a report with an overview of a company's revenue, earnings, cash flow and other financial metrics. The investment recommendation task is the most important of them all. The task is to take all the research and reports the previous agents have done and make an investment recommendation to buy, sell or hold a stock and the reasons why. It will be performed by the hedge fund manager agent. Because we want the recommendation task to receive the output of all the other tasks, we will make the other tasks serve as context for it. To save the output of each task in a file so we can read it later, we can pass an optional output file property where the output will be saved. Now we need to give our agents the tools they need to complete the tasks we just created. To get stock market data, we will use the Yahoo Finance Python package. Using it is very easy. All we have to do is create a ticker using the company's ticker symbol. And then we can get news, price action, dividends, balance sheets, and more. The first tool our researcher agent needs is a tool to find news about a stock. We will create a stock news function that is going to take a ticker symbol as an argument. It will initialize a Y finance ticker and return the ticker that news. All we have now is a Python function, not a tool our agent can use. To turn it into a tool, we have to decorate the function with the crew AI tool decorator and give it a name. Then, and this is very important, we have to describe what our tool does and explain how to use it. The AI agent will use a description and explanation when searching for a tool to solve a task. Using a doc string, we will first explain that this is a tool that is useful to get URLs to news articles related to a stock. Then we explain how the tool should be used and what the arguments should be. The AI agent will read this and understand how our tool should be called. The second tool our researcher agent will need is a tool to visit and read the websites it finds. This one we don't have to implement by hand, because Crew AI comes with a bunch of tools included out of the box. Tools to read files, directories, searching GitHub, YouTube, and more. We will use the Scrape website tool, initialize it, and give it to our researcher agent along with the stock news tool. Next up, we will create a stock price tool that will return the price history of a stock for the last month. We will turn it into a tool and give it to the technical analyst agent. We will create an income statement tool, a balance sheet tool, and an insider transactions tool. These three tools will be given to the financial analyst agent. The only agent without tools is the hedge fund manager because it only needs to read the reports from the other agents and make a decision. We are done. Now it's time to put it all together and put our crew to work. For this, we initialize a crew, give the tasks in the order we want with a recommendation task at the end, and the agents that will perform the task in no particular order. We will set the verbose property to do so we can get a good view of what is going on in the process and we are good to go. Then we kick off the crew and give it as an input the name of the company we want to analyze. Crew AI will take the company we write here and replace the template variables in our tasks. Let's run the code, let the crew do its work and come back when it's done. 
Now that it's finished, let us take a look at what happened. The first agent to get to work was the researcher. It knew it had to gather news related to Apple, and it used the tool we gave it with the correct input. The tool returned a bunch of links to news websites, and that made the agent decide to read each of those websites using the scraping tool. After reading them all, it thought, I now can give a great answer and it wrote its final answer. Then the financial analyst took over and decided to first get the income statement for Apple using the income statement tool. It got the balance sheet using the tool correctly and it also got the insider transactions. Then it gave us a final answer. Then the technical analyst agent used the tool to get the price history and gave us a final answer. And finally, the hedge fund manager agent got all the answers from all the other agents and gave us a final answer where it recommended we buy Apple stock. Because our crew is very tiny, we did not see agents delegating tasks to other agents. When your crews grow, you will see agents asking for help with their tasks and replying to questions from other agents. It is super cool to see. To check that the agents did their job correctly, we can take a look at the output files of each one of them. The researcher gave us an overview of the news about Apple and insights about them. The financial analyst analyzed the income statement, the balance sheet, and it even found out that Tim Cook sold $33 million worth of Apple stock in 2023. The technical analyst found support and resistance levels, as well as entry points and price targets for the stock. And finally, the hedge fund manager gave us a summary of the reports it read and lots of explanations on why it recommended it as a buy. Super cool! I hope you can see how fun building crews with Crew AI is. Since discovering it, I'm always thinking of all the tasks I have to do and how I can make crews to do them for me. Let me know in the comments how cool do you think Crew AI is and tell me if you agree with the recommendation of buying Apple stock. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share it with your friends. And if you like what we built and want to build more cool things using AI, check out the full stack GPT course by clicking on the link below. Bye bye.